might want to edit this bit out. <laughs> no, it's going in. Oh, great. Longest intro in the history of Mom Podcast Podcast. So welcome, nerds, to another Nerds Are Us, our non-podcast, podcasty thingy podcast, whatever you want to call it. We don't even know. Mm-hmm. I'm joined by three quarters of the NC ladies, myself included in the couch. Uh, say hi, Gams. Hi, Jams. Beautiful. And we're joined by the lovely Rachel. Hello, 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 hello. And I'm Jen, if you can't recognize my voice because I don't really do these intro thingies. But uh, I am today, so <laughs> we're joined by our amazing, 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 like, if you have not followed her yet on Facebook, her cosplaying is, like I said, amazing. Have I mentioned amazing? Um, Maybe once or twice. Hi, Maybe Chi. once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Chi. Hiya. Thank you for so many amazings. That's just too many to follow up on. <laughs> No, seriously, like, I am always in awe of people who can do, like, really, really good replicas of whatever character that they're trying to replicate. So, yeah. Not, not yet. I'm not there yet, but I do also follow other cosplayers, and I think the same thing. So, yeah. Aw, see? I've, I'm already starting on pretty good standards already. <laughs> okay, so, um... How, how did we meet, Chi? I think we kind of bonded over our love of Broadway musicals, I believe. I think the first time I met you was during the uh, VSO's Vancouver Symphony Orchestra's Disney Pixar thing. Oh, that yeah. Oh, that was so much fun. Yeah. And then I really wanted to see Wicked, and you guys are like the Broadway people so then i end up getting a ticket with you guys and it's cool very cool have you seen any class? other broadway shows not yet but i do plan to start going to more since i am making money that's very Woo-hoo! important <laughs> making, making money, money is so awesome <laughs> and you can do you can spend it on cosplays and conventions and then musicals right so it's all good <laughs> There we go. Um, we normally ask our guests this question, and um, since you're not part of like our typical nerd group, I'm going to ask you uh, this. What's your definition of a nerd? Normally, I think a nerd is just someone who's very passionate about something. Um, so it can be a lot of random stuff. So I don't really have anything. I, I know it's very generic the terms, but I could say, oh, I'm a nerd for design, because I'm really passionate about it, or I'm a nerd for uh, the Avengers and all the movies and all the Marvel movies or something like that, Uh, even to, uh, I'm trying to think of something that's actually not defined as nerdy, but I would say you are a nerd if you are very passionate about it, Uh, but I can't think of something right now, but we'll see, yeah. Cool, What, uh, what do you think you're the most nerdy about? I, I would say I used to be very nerdy about anime, but I don't follow it as much anymore. I still watch it from time to time, uh, but I'm really behind from all the the seasons. And right now, it's I still consider myself a nerd for cosplay, uh, even more so than before, because I've actually been doing a lot more research in terms of following other cosplayers, um, watching YouTube videos about how to make certain things, <laughs> um, and just actually spending a lot more time just following all these amazing cosplayers and their Facebook pages to motivate me to do my own stuff too. Even though I'm not a frequent cosplayer as them, like they'll, they'll cosplay every convention or so, but I'm at the point where I just want to learn something new and then create something myself. Cool. Yeah. Do you have a favorite cosplayer that you look up to? Um, right now, there's one that's called 
Brian Wells, and he's actually really amazing in terms of he only started cosplaying three years ago, but a lot of his work is almost like feels like they could just be seen in the movies. And he does a lot of more mascot kind of cosplays. So he doesn't really, he's made, um, he, his first cosplay, I would say, was a character from the movie Nine. It was, um, it looks like they're voodoo dolls kind of, but they're not. I can't oh, yeah. really describe it. The Tim Burton um, one. Yeah, yeah. And he actually made it so realistic in terms of he just wears it and it's, it's just so cool to see his photos toward him. And then he's also made a, a replica of the the Back to the Future car. And he actually got a piece Ooh. of his car signed by, I can't remember Ooh. who he was very excited about signing. But he's he's actually been really cool to follow just because he's only got into cosplay just three years ago. And it's pretty much his full-time job. And he does... Um, he, he's got involved in the community so much that a lot of other cosplayers just know his name. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I have, I have mad respect for people that not necessarily kind of, like, replicate exactly what um, they're trying to cosplay, but they kind of put their own spin to it, and they use, like, really creative things to, like, get their costumes to look the way that they do. Like, I'm not that kind of creative person, so seeing that in person is just amazing. Well, I would say uh, what you just said is t totally true. It's like everyone has their own way of making something, and there's no wrong way, unless, of course, it falls apart. Then you just have to find a way to adhesive it better. Um, but it's, it's really cool when you do meet other cosplayers, you can act, like, ask, oh, how did you make that? And, like, oh, I really want to make a costume the same as yours. Can you tell me a few tips about how did you make the gun? Or, like, what did you use to do this? And so on. So it's a lot of communication um, just between everyone. And no one would judge you on what you do <laughs> uh, in terms of your techniques. For sure. That's awesome. Um, so we mentioned uh, your cause playing, and we're going to share your page and the links and stuff um, on our blog. Uh, what is your What has been your favorite character to cosplay? Um, so far, I think I've been on, like, four, roughly, and my favorite cosplay is my latest one, which is Yang from Ruby, the Rooster Chief mm -hmm. uh, series, and why I love it so much is that it's actually the first cosplay I made everything by myself, really, uh, in terms of learning how to sew the blazer parts and I was like okay Chi you're gonna step onto the challenge and get borrow a sewing machine and then try to sew fabric onto another piece of fabric and it was a lot of learning curves um, and, and then another cool thing is that this costume was actually recommended like sometimes uh, some of my friends or my sister would say oh Chi we think you'll be perfect as the fourth person in our group and so I actually got cosplay this as a group thing and it's very rare. I did. Uh, I have never done that as much. Uh, and also, since Yang is very tomboyish, it's very easy to relate to her. So it was like something that's not really out of my comfort zone. Except she wears short shorts, and that was like the first thing. I was like, should I be wearing short shorts? I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so you mentioned the Avengers, and I was wondering if you've seen Civil War yet. Yes, I have. And what were your thoughts on the movie? To me, I think it was actually pretty cool in terms of the the feel for Civil War Captain America movies are actually still a bit different for me versus actual Avengers movies because it seems a lot more serious uh, compared to like even the second one. The second one seemed very serious too, and I really enjoyed the the fight scenes and how they actually had a very good plot that tied everything together it almost made me want to cry when i saw the ending about like why iron man got like super pissed off but i'm not gonna spoil that right now um but i really enjoyed uh the the action scenes a lot these like i in, in my background i do martial arts and i've been doing martial arts since i was nine years old and then it's always something that i do judge and even like 
I learned a little bit about、um, filming and cinematography and how they do action sequences. Oh, just a little bit. But then it's it will make me more notice the scenes a lot better. And I didn't feel like the flow of the movie ever slowed down because it was quite lengthy, right? It's like two and a half hours,、mm-hmm. but just the pacing of it was just perfect, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah.、Um, what kind of martial arts do you do? Right now, I do a style called Kyokushin Karate, and it's actually bare fist、um, punching and kicking, and we rarely wear any protection except mouth guards. And then I used to do another martial art called wushu, which is kind of like crouching tiger, hidden dragon style, for six years.、Uh, and right now, mostly I train is、uh, is kyokushin karate, but I would still say a lot of my background wushu really made a strong foundation to help me be more flexible. But then now my body's a lot heavier from kyokushin karate,、uh, and I do a lot more fighting,、uh, actually like contact fighting. Versus wushu, which is more fancy and flowy and very fast paced. Oh dear lord! <laughs> If you ever need a bodyguard, you know. Kick ass! That's so kick ass. Yeah,、um, our cousin actually did martial arts for for quite a while, and she got up to like brown belt or something, and it terrifies me to be honest. <laughs> Do you happen to know what style she does? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. It, this was a long time ago. Janine, do you know? <laughs> She's Dude, shaking. I didn't、it. even know she did karate until like five years ago. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm always behind the times. Always. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so、uh, we shared、oh, something、yeah. today about the next like 20. Some odd superhero films that are coming out in the next couple of years.、Uh, what are you looking forward to most in the, I guess, nerdy cinematic universe? It's kind of weird how Spider-Man has so many remakes now, but I've always been a fan of Spider-Man ever since the 1994 uh, cartoon. I think it's 1994, and、um, I even read some of the comics later on called the Ultimate Spider-Man series. And so I'm actually really excited about the remake. I, I well, I think like Andrew Garf, I think it's Andrew Garfield. Yeah, Andrew Garfield, the second one. Yeah, the second one. He actually portrays Spider-Man like pretty okay, but it's just his the movies overall weren't as memorable, unfortunately. Um, but I like how they brought back the high school kind of Spider-Man, and then now as we see from. The Civil War. They introduced Spider-Man as even、uh, younger, because of the actor. The actor himself. I googled this. I was like, oh, he's only 19 years old. That's pretty young.、Um, so I'm very excited to see where it'll take that. I'm for this year. I do want to see Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's. I, I think that one's going to be really interesting. The the trailer is very、like、trailer. Inception-esque. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was、Such、waiting for Leo to like pop out. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> It's Inception. <laughs> It's kind of weird because I don't、uh, I don't even follow him. I didn't know who Doctor Strange was until like oh there Benedict Cumberbatch is going to play him and I'm like、mm-hmm. been trying to follow Benedict Cumberbatch more.、Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting and I do want to see like his portrayal portrayal of him as a character. Uh, but I'm also like definitely looking up,、uh, looking forward to even Suicide Squad. And I'm like, I never follow these things, and they just made a movie out of it. They, but the trailers make it seems very entertaining, and I, I'm just excited to see all the whole anti-heroes kind of thing coming to, to play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I、yeah, know.、Well, Jamie forward to Suicide Squad, right? Oh yeah, I love Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of the casting? For the Suicide Squad, it's really hard to make a judgment call until you see it all fall into place. Some of it, like I'm still not sure about Will Smith, because I'm not used to seeing him in a villain type role. But we'll see. I definitely agree. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way about Will Smith as well. I think that's a 
that's what happens when you kind of get typecasted into certain roles and then it's hard to see them outside of what they're usually capable of doing on screen. I'm okay, excited I'm, for it. It's going to be interesting. I'll probably not watch it because it'll just creep the heck out of me, so. <laughs> yep. I, think, I think they did a fabulous job already. Hey, that's it for my questions. Does anybody else have any questions before we launch into our yeah our questionnaire? I can't you already. Team Cap or Team Iron Man? <laughs> that's all I want to know. I, I am gonna be very biased and say I'm Team Iron Man just because I used to play Marvel versus Capcom and Iron Man was so much better than Captain America. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> that was why the bias. Like I'm just. I just remember charging with Captain America's shield, and that's all he could do. But Iron Man could, like, transform, and then he would call a war machine into his side. And I'm like, yes, that is so cool. And this is all from a video game, right? So I am still Team Iron Man. Aside from the awesome movie, Team Cool. Well, yeah, most of, most of the people that I've talked to are Team Cap, so it's, yay, Team Iron Man. I, <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still a little torn. I'm still a little torn as to whose team I'm actually on. It's a no-brainer for me because I'm Team Cap only because they have Aladdin on their team. So, sorry, yeah. what was that? What? They have Aladdin on team. Aladdin. Mm -hmm. They chose Aladdin for Team Cap. So I'm confused. Cap. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you like it was. It was based off of like a you know those like tabloid interview things. So they have they asked I think. Uh, I think they asked Mac, he's like, who would you, who would you bring onto, onto, uh, Team Cap? He's like, why not Aladdin? He has a magic carpet. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Like, Stop. Stop. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the movie, but okay. <laughs> nope. That's how I chose my team. Oh boy. Uh, do you have any other questions? No, that's, that's, that's all I wanted to that's know. That's all you wanted to know? <laughs> team Cap or Team Iron Man? Janine asks the hard-hitting questions. I do. Very good at those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I would say, um, though, after watching the movie, I, like, they were saying, oh, Team Cap is, probably spoiler alert, um, Team Cap is for <laughs> not okay. being, like, owned by the government, right? And then they, Team Iron Man just signs his soul away, pretty much saying, like, they're dangerous. And then they want um, to be controlled. He wants to be controlled. But then, then in the end of the movie, of course, it still makes me still be on Team Iron Man's side about, like, how it affected his parents. But, but yeah. Also, I mean, even though he did sign the Accords, even at the end, he kind of put, put that guy on hold. So it was pretty funny to me. He was like, he's not really playing nice. He's just kind of acting nice, like he's yeah. signing it. Okay, we're signing it, but I'm still going to do what I'm going to do, so. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, like, don't worry about spoilers, because we already did a roundtable on Civil We War. did a roundtable. Yeah. And we'll put, a, we'll put another spoiler alert in the article for this we'll video. I'm <laughs> <one>, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's two weeks out. I feel like everyone should have seen it by now. No, just joking. Um... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, let's move on to our rapid fire, non rapid fire questionnaire <laughs> thingy, my Bob. We need a better. We need to call it something better. <laughs> Someday we'll come up with a name for it. <laughs> Someday in the non distant future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chi. If you could vacation in any fantasy, literary, or television or film realm, where would you go? Uh, I would say Hogwarts. <laughs> um, I, I grew up reading Harry Potter, and I still think it's still pretty magical, even though, like, oh, some people are witches, and some people are wizards, and then werewolves and everything. I, I still like that sort of fantasy world. Yeah. Who would be your best friend at Hogwarts? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I think it would be... It would be that girl that Harry actually was interested in. I think it was Cho. Yeah. That was her name. I, I feel like I would be connected to her more just because I think I did the Pottermore um, the, uh, website quiz and then I was put in probably, I think I was put in Ravenclaw. And then since Cho is in there, it, it would have been better. It might have changed now. 
I feel like the the way I react to certain things, I might become a Slytherin instead. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the dark side. It has cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cookies. Yay, cookies! They're delicious. What would you title your autobiography? I would probably say something along about how to be awesome like Chi, but then that's like very <laughs> what a lot of people actually say to me. Um, but that's the first thing that comes to mind. It would probably have a more official title, but but that's the tagline. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Be awesome like Chi. Awesome like Chi. What is your favorite made-up word? Made-up word. Mathematical. Is that made-up? <laughs> um, I think that's actually from a Finn from the Venture Time series. Hmm. Something like that. I, I like that word a lot. Yay, math! <laughs> I used to um, do a lot of math mentally, so I'm good at mental math, but then I found out I was using my calculator wrong the whole time in grade 8 and 9, so I was, like, doing poorly on tests just because I was using radians instead of degrees or something like that. I totally did not know there was a setting that changed oh, all my no. calculations. Yeah, so I couldn't get my A's, and I got my B's instead. I'm so sad. Found out later. Math is evil. But I love Stay in math. school, kids. Stay in school. This is our PSA for... <laughs> but I love math. <laughs> <laughs> what would constitute your perfect day? <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys can't see this, but Janine and Jams are both doing hair mustaches, and it's just <laughs> the greatest thing I've seen in a really long time. <laughs> I, I would say lately I've actually been enjoying my life pretty well. It's like I would just wake up, I try to get out of bed by a certain time, get ready for work, do work come back home, relax, play some games. Uh, and I get to browse Facebook all the time when I work too, just because I'm at a computer. And I do like working, which is kind of weird. I I remember moments in my life where I'm not working for days and all I do is play Guild Wars 2, but then I was so bored out of my mind. So I'm actually glad I'm contributing to society somehow. And that's, so all these days I'm living working has been good so far. <laughs> And also getting to see my boyfriend after work. It'd be nice, too. There you go. See, sometimes the simplest perfect days are the best ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't have to think about it too much. If you could wake up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability that lasts for just one day, what would you choose? Could it be, like, a superpower ability or just a regular? Sure. <laughs> it could be anything. Anything. I, I always wanted the superpower to um, to have agility, like super speed, just because I feel I can get so much more done. And then, um, yeah, I, I feel like that's the thing I want. Or flying. Flying to places gets me there faster, too, so that's also part of it. <laughs> Zoom. That's why, like, Mazda's, like, slogan, they go zoom zoom or something like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good slogan for a car. It is. Mm -hmm. It is a great slogan. We're talking about it, so they did their job. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think Ronnie just found out about, um... Uh, yup, she did. Yeah. Agent Carter. Agent Carter yeah. getting canceled. <laughs> oh, no. All the yeah, sad... <laughs> It's not been around it's for a like, season. It's like, you get fired, and yeah. you get fired, and you get canceled, and you get canceled. Everybody gets canceled! <laughs> Yay! I've seen that meme go around today. A B ABC in their cancellation wagon. It's sad. It's so sad. Um, if you could cast yourself in a superhero film, who would you cast yourself as? This might take a while. <laughs> um, There's just so many choices. I know, first you decide on the film, and then you decide on character. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a princess. <laughs> My brain would just explode, but she's got a princess. Okay, first of all, I, I really like X-Men. 
also because of the 1990s cartoons totally mm-hmm. awesome um mm-hmm. so i would definitely say i would cast myself in an x-men movie and i one of my favorite characters at the time was rogue where she can like rogue yeah she mm-hmm. touches people and suck their powers and then she would have it and that's so cool uh but now i see myself me uh i would actually like to see myself more as a stick for some reason i feel like maybe the, the way jennifer lawrence has been portraying her has been really like mesmerizing so i i do like that role a lot i have no idea if i can act though i i feel like that's really out of my comfort zone i can't even improv so this is uh, out of my league but mystique would be my answer uh, i can't act to save my life <laughs> That's why we watch Broadway shows, right? <laughs> I know, right? Let, 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 let the professionals handle it, and we can just enjoy their talent. Um, are you looking forward to Apocalypse? Yes, for sure. I, I do like the take uh, they've been doing for all this kind of X-Men First Class movies. Um, so I'm very excited for that. Unfortunately, I feel like I'm one, I'm one of the few who are. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been, I guess promote a lot compared to say Suicide Squad or mm-hmm, right. even Civil War like for a while there I was like oh yeah Apocalypse that's happening too isn't it yeah 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 well I we'll think see, we'll see what happens I think what happened with that one is the early promotional images that they released of Apocalypse were horrible the lighting on him was awful and made him look like ooze and that's what people people compared him to. But now that we're seeing better shots of him, he looks a lot better. <laughs> yeah, initial stuff is, I think, super important for a film. If people are turned off by it, then they just stop paying attention. Yeah, that's why I first time with this a while, right? <laughs> like how uh, even Ryan Reynolds, um, he recently did the Honest Trailers thing for Deadpool. Yes. He actually, like, was part of the dialogue, and I thought that was great, and he's still promoting it. He's like, oh, I'm just doing this so I can promote the DVD, but no one's actually going to buy it. That's what he says in it, or something like that. <laughs> so that's still, he's still doing the promotions. <laughs> yep. In terms of casting, yeah, reverse psychology, indeed. In terms of casting, you, I don't think they could have found a more perfect Deadpool. True. Well, that's what they say about him now before he actually was Deadpool in the other movie, right? So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's not talk about that. That never <laughs> happened. What? what? What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I would say. That was wiped from my mind. I, I would admit that I watched Green Lantern just so I could see his abs, even though it was CGI covered. That was part of the reason I watched that movie. <laughs> even though it was a horrible movie, I still watched it for Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> good reason. Good I, reason. I like don't. how he poke. I like how he pokes fun of Green Lantern. Mm-hmm. It just it yeah. makes me it makes me love him even more because yeah. he understood that it wasn't a very good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask at least one more question. Um, if you didn't have to worry about budget or ability, or hey, if you even had your own personal costume maker, who would be your dream character? to cosplay? Um, actually, the, the cosplay I've been thinking about wanting to start on is Samus from um, Metroid Prime or like Smash Brothers um, because I feel like I've never done an armor cosplay yet. It's very funny to see you doing a heart symbol. I love her. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would. I thought about doing her just because, uh, first of all, again with the armor sort of thing, it would be really cool to try something different. I've never done a full armor cosplay yet. And then second of all, I went to Emerald City Comic Con and sat through a lot of panels and it really motivated me to learning like, oh, I should put ventilation in the helmet or how to use LEDs. And even I, I had, um, I graduated from SFU and I had done a few led projects and i want to apply that to my costumes so it's going to become like all in one the things i always wanted to do into one costume and i plan to make this happen hopefully by next year or a year later and i'm not sure how much it's going to cost but i'm looking uh, i've always been a budget uh cosplayer so i can do ways i can actually 
make things just from stuff from home, but also been looking more into okay, I should buy、uh, play mats, which are EVA foam,、mm-hmm. and then w- they're very useful to make light armor costumes versus like materials like warbla. And warbla is a ther- thermodynamic、uh, material that melts、uh, molds when you heat up a heat gun, and but that's expensive. So I'm going to probably look at the balance of both maybe. And so yeah, that is the next thing on my list, and I really want to make it. Awesome.、Yes. What's your What's your one number one tip for、um, aspiring cosplayers? I would say, if you think there's a costume that you want to wear, just make it. Like, don't think about like.、Uh, I I do see this a lot where people think about oh, their body type might not be right. I I do know. Some cosplayers would announce they're getting they're working out just so they can fit into the right body shape, but these are like professional cosplayers and they're doing that. But some of us, like we have day, we have day jobs and we don't we have to do other stuff too, and then we don't exercise much. But we do the best we can in just making a costume work for us. I do admit I have worn costumes where they're more. I, I feel like I'm confident enough that my body is suited for it, but I also cosplay as male characters. So sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I should、uh, tape my boobs or something like that. I have to think about these things. But then no one's going to judge you if you're going to be a woman in a guy costume, just because if as long as you portray it and they see you're portraying their favorite character, they don't care. They just like, oh my gosh, I want to hug you. You look awesome. You're like my favorite character, and they just say all these compliments. So they don't really. See you、uh, behind a costume. Yeah, I think that's what I really love about the cosplay community is it's how accepting everybody is, and you know, it it's not necessarily like the character that you're dressed up as is the attitude that you put behind each of the costumes that you're wearing. So yes, yes, it's awesome. Yeah, and I would <laughs> say most of the negative comments are coming from people who don't even cosplay. They don't understand it at all, and that's how I feel、oh. about reading、um, online comments. So yeah.、Mm-hmm. And people like gender swap costumes anyway, so like it doesn't really matter、yeah. if you're a girl and you really, really, really want to like cosplay as Halo, like the female version or whatever. It's like why not go for it, or like the female version of Captain America. Like, so many people. Yeah, like、so. even、uh, I seen a lot of female Thors. Uh, I even thought about getting my boyfriend to be in the Samus cosplay, just because he's tall enough. Like we thought about his height is better, and then even though it's a female character,、um, so all these things. But, but definitely, I, I agree that gender bent cosplays are actually pretty cool too. I agree. I did an article about it a while back. I should definitely read that. <laughs> you should. Jams was um, pretty lucky. Yes, I was. I was Lady Loki two years ago. Yeah, it was. It was a pretty sweet looking costume. That、yeah. was fun. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Chi. No problem. Um, like I said, we're gonna have uh links to her uh Facebook page so you can follow her and her cosplay adventures. Um, that's it from us. So, thanks again. Thank you for inviting me. Bye. 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 <laughs> We sound so excited. Bye. 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 Bye.